paid $2 and sold it for $84.95. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money plush bolos that sold on eBay and other platforms. In this video, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So I shared this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and it is share your best sold plush bolo. And you basically, you put a link, you put where you got it, what you paid for it, what it sold for. And if you have a YouTube channel or you want to share your eBay or other platform, um, other platforms store name for a shout out, you put that in the comments. So this is how it works. And I would love for you guys to come over to the Facebook group and share your bolo. I have best plush, best jewelry, and best February bolo up right now. So come check it out. And I'm not sure when this will post, so best March might be up by the time this post. All right, so let's start with the first one here. This is a goat simulator 10-inch plush with a sticky tongue. Stuffed animal. Have you ever seen such a thing? What on earth? <laughs> I have not seen this guy before. I probably would have picked it up just because it's so strange. Uh, they did a good job of showing the eyes. A lot of people that collect stuffed animals want to see the eyes and they will ask for that. And if there's condition issues on the eyes, definitely show that up close. Bought this 2016 10-inch goat simulator video game plush Dicky tongue. Paid $1.99 at the Goodwill. Located in South Carolina. Sold it for $60. Shout out to eBay store Roaming the Wilds and YouTube channel Carolina Roamer. So check out that YouTube channel. I think it's new. This one here is bought this large gal from an eBay. Oh, from eBay a few years ago, less than a hundred because she was mislabeled as Nala, N-A-L-A, -A, is a common character and isn't worth as much. But the large Kiera go for um, up to 470 but this large Kira up for 470 put it up. I don't know why I said got three times and sold it for 385 on best offer. Now this is in Australia. How would you know the difference between Nala and Kira? Let me know if anybody knows how to know the difference, because it sounds like that is really important. Uh, she said virtually any plush from the sequel to the Lion King is a great bolo. There you have it, guys. I don't know the uh, monetary conversion, but wow. Somebody wrote, how can you tell it's Kiera? Somebody asked. She looks near identical to Nala, but Nala has blue teal eyes while Kiera has orange red eyes. So it's all in the eyes, guys. It's all in the eyes. An easy mistake to make. You might want to take a minute to look up Kiera and Kuvu, K-O-V-U plush toys into Google Images because the sequel also has a male character that's worth looking out for. Wow, that's a lot of great information right there. Awesome, awesome. This one is a Manhattan toy Dugan puppy dog from 1986. Vintage 14-inch floppy plush. This sold on Etsy. And a lot of people are selling their plush on Etsy. And Manhattan Toys is another one too. Uh, look out for. I believe the Rebel Reseller has a video on Manhattan toy plush to look for. Found Dugan at a Goodwill for $4.50. Sold on Etsy for $129.99 to a Canadian buyer. All right, this next one comes from Nook's Crannies and Irresistibles on eBay. She said, bought this little fella at the last day of an estate sale. Works perfectly. The problem was getting him to shut up. <laughs> yes, I hate Furbies. They don't ever shut up. I don't think there's an off switch. Tell me, is there an off switch? This one's from 1998. It is a Furby white model, snowball, gray eyes, pink ears. Video Gen 1. She said, I negotiated the price from 50 to eight. Wow, you're a really good negotiator. 50 down to $8. 
Good job. I wasn't able to look up comps at the sale. So just took a chance. It sat in my money pile for a month or so before I finally got around to listing it. Lots of lookers and finally sold for a best offer of 40. Not the best sale ever, but hey, I'll take it. I think that's great. Eight into 40. Basic Fun 2021 Retro Strawberry Shortcake uh, Toy Doll Plush 14 inches in the box. eBay store got junk in our trunk. She is also on YouTube and she is also a moderator of this Facebook group. So go show her some love. You will love her what solds. They are quick to the point and you're going to get a lot of bolos really fast. Purchase this Basic Fun 2021 Strawberry Shortcake doll on a Facebook local auction for $15. She sold overnight, overnight for $42 best offer. She could have sold for a bit more, but the box was pretty banged up from the prior owner's storage. So she said, this was my first time finding a Dinkum doll located at her locally operated thrift store in Memphis. She had her original shoes, hair bow and dress purchase price was $2.99 took a best offer of 50 within a couple weeks of listing and I couldn't pull up the actual listing so I'm just going to show you this right there that is what the doll looks like all right let's get back to it here okay here we go this one is mine I said I love selling animated plush I got this from zombie bargain hunter on um whatnot. I paid $5 for it. And I, I did play, I did pay shipping also $5 plus shipping, but I bought so many things that the shipping was discounted and sold it for $42 and 25 cents plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. It's a Hallmark animated Halloween candy treat bag sings and feet move. It is super, super cool. And Whatnot is a great place to source. Definitely follow Zombie Bargain Hunter on Whatnot. And he has a YouTube channel where he teaches all about plush and other items, but definitely give him a follow. But yeah, animated plush, one of my favorite things to pick up. So when he said he was having a show, I was like, I will be there. And I have sold other items that I bought that day as well. If you're not on Whatnot and you would like to join Whatnot, I have a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop with my referral link. This is a Hello Kitty pink waffle Build-A-Bear. And this one, she says, bought this Hello Kitty waffle Build-A-Bear in a rare Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear dress for $19 at Goodwill in August. Took a best offer of $79 on Mercari. So it's a harder to find dress as well. So probably also helped get a better price. And Mercari is a great place for plush. I actually have a video that shows you Build-A-Bear that sell for big money and what they were selling on eBay compared to Mercari. And in many cases, they sold for more on Mercari. So check out that video. If you're not on Mercari, definitely check it out. There is a link down below where you can join Mercari. And with my uh, referral link, you can get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. Here is another Build-A-Bear. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. She also has an awesome YouTube channel. Check it out. She said, paid up for this, $5 at the Goodwill, sold for $41, shipped on eBay. Isn't it funny how we think $5 is paying up? We're all so cheap. Um, all right, here we go. This is a Nanco the Muppet Show Rizzo the Rat Biker Plush Vintage Stuffed Animal, Stuffed Toy. Uh, childhood Finds, definitely follow her on YouTube for more fantastic bolos. But this guy is funny, isn't he? She said, I got this at the Salvation Army for 50 cents. I didn't recognize it was from the Muppets at first, so was surprised to see its value. Sold in a week for $50. This is a Glow Worm by Hasbro. Hasbro, 1982. Picker Money Flipper sold this, another great YouTube channel. Um, lots of big money bolos on that channel. So definitely check out the What Solds. Paid $2 and sold it for $84.95. And if you want to know how to change the battery of a glowworm, I have a video for you on that. This one's from 1982. And I was like, how do I change the battery? It's a little interesting. So I just made a video. And that is a glowworm. Do you guys remember these? I had one as a kid. Did you? This one is a Tyco Kitty Kitty Jungle Kittens. 
and it is a uh, by Picker Money Flipper also. Paid 75 cents at the Goodwill, sold for $34 plus shipping in 48 hours. I'm going to say that she may have undersold this. These are a big money bolo, but maybe it was the condition. Some of the, yeah, it does have some condition issues. So that's probably why she priced it for less, but it did sell really fast. Uh, a lot of times these are great to do an auction on. There are some of these that are recalled. I think it's the other brand. ADH Dave did a video on this and I think he had some removed. I can't remember which what the brand was, but I think he said the Tyco were okay. But you guys can check out that video um, for more details on that. And here is another Kitty Kitty Kittens. And this one is also by Tyco. So I think the Tyco are okay. But double check. My girlfriend donated a bag of plush to the thrift store I volunteer at. She said, I don't have the heart to throw this Kitty Kitty out. It was dirty. I said, I'll take it home and wash it. I knew it was a bolo. I paid a dollar for her. Took her home, washed her, sold it in about a month for full asking price of $47 plus shipping, and it's going internationally. There it is. Look how cute. Cute, cute. So cute. All right, you guys, there are some big money plush bolos for you. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching. And before we go here, um, let me go back to the Facebook group. Go over to the Facebook group and look for the share your best plush bolo. And make sure you put your YouTube channel or your eBay store or other store links, um, not links, I'm sorry, store name in the comments so that I can shout it out in the video. All right. Again, check out the description of the video for links of items I use. Check out Google Lens. If you're not using it, it is a free source. Check out that video from ADH Dave and learn about the Tyco kitties and other great videos from him. You'll really love his channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.